Hello my friends, welcome to today's video and welcome to Cannes. I'm in the south of France right now and I thought, you know what, this is such a fun idea to do my video for this week in real time. You're here with me, I thought we would do a Q&A and I have a very exciting unboxing. I have the brand new Canon V10 camera. Oh my goodness, you're shaking everywhere, you're on a table. This is essentially the new generation G7X, which has been my vlogging baby for years. So I'm gonna answer some of the most asked questions and we're going to unbox. Now I do actually have to give a little disclaimer. I have tried this before. When Canon came to me and were like, hey, do you fancy, you know, giving this a go, sharing it with your audience? I saw it and I was so skeptical that I was like, I, I don't know if I can. And they're like, no, 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 trust us. Try it out. Like, we can't give you the whole unboxing experience right now, but we can send you a test model and just have a go. And I spent the whole day testing it out going, I don't think I'm gonna like this. I don't know what I'm gonna think to this. And by the end of the day, I was like, oh, I really like this. And I had to send it back and I have missed this. It's so tiny. I mean, these aren't big, but what this brings that this doesn't have is it's what was missing. Also, this is the vlogging kit and I've actually never bought one of Canon's vlogging kits before. It comes with all the accessories you could need. But to the questions we go. Okay, let's go in at the deep end. What is next for you? Which is such a funny question and actually pretty appropriate to chat about whilst I unbox this because I really see all of my different parts of my life in chapters and each chapter for me has a different version of this camera. Actually, not even this camera. I was thinking about this the other day. My first ever YouTube camera feels like a section in my life. And then when I started vlogging, it was the original G7X and then I got the Mark II and that to me is when I lived in like the East Village in Stratford. And then when the Mark III came is when I had my house at home home. And then it feels like this is here for my next chapter of life, which is very appropriate. So let's open it up. I'm very excited to see what comes in the vlogging kit. So let's open the actual camera itself first. And then we'll get to the accessories. So this is how it comes. It is the most interesting looking camera ever. It's like, I guess it's like a pocket size camera. I mean, let me actually show you it before I start telling you anything about it because I think you're gonna be a little shocked with what it actually looks like. Oh, I'm so excited to have this back in my life is the camera. Look at the size of it. So it has a two inch LCD screen, which honestly you don't even need any bigger. It's got a stand, so it's like a built-in tripod and it has a wide angle lens. Oh my goodness, the biggest thing missing on this for me is a wide lens, they're fixed lenses and this one is so wide. If we're being precise, it's a 19 millimeter wide lens and this is also super light, it's 211 grams. It's one of those things that when I first saw it, oh, I have to do the setup, like language and everything, and we are all set up, it is that quick. So, this is the camera itself. It has the screen on the back, I'm probably showing you a really ugly angle of myself right now. It has a mic jack, so you can put an external mic on, which is amazing, but the actual microphone is at the top, so you're never going to cover it with your fingers because nothing about this makes you want to hold it at the top which is amazing usb jack on the side hdmi and then you have all of the settings and the buttons on the back and the screen is touch screen but anyway getting to answering the question what's next to me what's next is moving into my dream house and obviously i'm gonna vlog that chapter and it's just one of those things that feels like it's been so long coming and it finally feels like it's brewing like it's imminent and i don't know if you can tell but i'm just such like a, a lifted brighter more i don't even know how to explain it lighter person because of it and then once i'm in the house i will not be leaving i was saying to someone the other day if you think you can peel me out of that house you absolutely can't i said in the house update which actually went up on monday go and watch that i don't want to go on holiday ever again i don't want to leave ever again i just want to stay in that house for the rest of my life baking things cooking things going in the garden going to bed and i will be content what room in your house are you most excited about decorating so the guest room is called the pink room i'm obviously vlogging all of this by the way so you are going to see it and I'm going for like pink walls. I want to get some floral wallpaper on there. I want to do Princess Central. Freddie said to me the other day, she was like, there is a pink room for me, right? And I was like, Freddie, <laughs> yeah, literally the guest room. So I can't wait for her to come over and see it. I think she's going to love it. But yeah, obviously I'm going to be vlogging the whole chapter and genuinely think I'm going to be using this now as my everyday vlog camera, just because of the fact I can pop it in my bag. I can take it everywhere with me and it does everything I need to do. And you can see everything. So the wide angle lens is 
everything. But yeah, it has stabilization as well, which kind of props it slightly. Not much at all, but it's not shaky. That was something that it took me a moment to work out, but there's different settings. It films in 4K, Ultra HD. It has face tracking, so the, the autofocus on this is divine. I mean, and honestly, it's just super straightforward to use, but let's see what else is in the box. I'm curious. Ooh. We have a micro SD card and then we have a, ah, a windscreen for the microphone, a lens cap. I was wondering about that because obviously there's no lens cap, but I feel like you don't really need it. And then we have a, oh, a carry bag. Perfect. I'm definitely going to put the mic furry on. Okay, next question. <laughs> Who are your siblings and where is the oldest sibling? I don't think that's something that I've answered in a while. So I am one of three and oh no, I don't want to break my nail, but I also don't want to rip the packaging. Funnily enough, I don't have scissors on me. Ah, here we go. So we do have a younger sister, Sophie, who I'm sure a lot of you will maybe have seen in my videos, maybe online. She has her own YouTube channel. So if you don't subscribe to that, go and subscribe. She's a proud owner of a Canon G7X Mark III. That's where my Mark III is actually. That's why I have the Mark II because she has the Mark III. And I have an older sister as well called Katie and she is a primary school teacher. And she just doesn't fancy being on like socials anymore because of that, which is why you don't see her. But we are super close. She's a mom and I am a proud auntie and I'm actually probably the closest I've ever been with my older sister she's just not really in my videos I mean maybe there'll come a point where she fancies it but I completely respect that it's not really her thing but today I'm going to take you out and about and I'm going to answer your questions throughout the day which I think is going to be quite fun I'm in Cannes so I'll be able to show you around so these are the mounting plates I think I have to stick these on yes and then the furry goes on perfect love a straightforward device one okay next question when do you think you'll settle down and where do you think it will be that is a freaking heavy question it's quite funny so i was born in 97 so i am technically gen z but i'm on the cusp and a lot of my older friends have settled down a lot of my younger friends have settled down but equally a lot of them also haven't and i'm here this week in Cannes for work and i'm just like in no rush i'm here i'm able to like do my job obviously if you settle down you can still do your job but talking of like you know other commitments I'm just really loving where I'm at in life right now, the freedom that I have and I'm not really in a place where I'm like fancy and giving that up. I think, is it magnetic? Oh, that's so clever. Yeah, I just, I'm excited to get in my house. I think that's going to be the start of a new chapter for me. I'm excited to get settled and share the journey with you of getting settled and just seeing what that looks like for me. And then I think I'll be able to decide from there. It's been hard for me to make any big life decisions really because I haven't been in my my home. I feel like I've been living someone else's reality. I've been living, although I've not been at my parents a ton, I've been like back and forth. You're still like when you're there on someone else's time zone and like, you know, routine. But let's get this camera into action. And it means I can take you out and about with me without having to haul my big camera around, which is why I don't take you out and about with me Enough. that's one of the biggest bits of feedback you guys give in my videos it's like can we just come with you so i'm going to set it to stabilization mode but for now actually i'm just going to do it on standard auto movie because i'm just going to put you down and chat oh you're a bit angled up i need to get used to the angles but hello welcome to uh my new camera how exciting is this so let me pack up my bits because i have boxes everywhere and i need to get changed and then let's head out for the day and i will continue answering your questions so this is the camera with no stabilization settings on i'm going to show you just so you can see the little amount it crops and this is it stabilized. I mean, it's not entirely different, but in some scenarios, like if I was walking down the street, it would definitely be worth it. But day to day, I don't actually think I need the stabilization, but it is nice to have it as an option because again, that is something that the G7X didn't have, that I wish it did. So, welcome to my wardrobe. So I think I'm gonna do this little yellow dress, but it's creased. That's the only problem. Uh, maybe I will get the straighteners out. Cleaners are stood right outside my door vacuuming. Perfect timing. Back on the big camera because I can't actually show you and film at the same time. So this is why this is so game changing. So in there I have hand sanitizer and a few lip products and then it fits perfectly. There is not a chance the camera that I'm holding would fit in this bag. Like not a chance. The most asked question when I put the question box out was of course, when 
are you moving into your house now i have a week i don't have an actual date but i think it's going to be the second or third week of Ju july dependent because i'm going away and i don't know if it's 100 percent happening but if i go away then i'll move in a week later and i'm kind of hoping the trip does happen because then everything will be even more finished for me to move in you know i really don't want to be in there and having to let builders in every day you know i feel like i want the real like big climatic i'm in this is done kind of feeling i'm back at the hotel and i am warm i've just switched into the clothes that i had on earlier but let's answer another question all of these are about my house <laughs> How do you make sure you get up in the morning when your alarm goes off instead of snoozing it? I think that's a great question. So firstly, I feel like I'm really lucky because I genuinely love my everyday. I love what I do. I love waking up and knowing what I'm going to do with my day. So I think genuinely that really helps me. But also I just, I think you have to give yourself something to wake up for. So mine is my morning coffee. And should I be having a flat white at 6.30 a.m.? absolutely not it's definitely not good for me but does it entice me out of bed yeah and is that what i need yeah i it's so silly i genuinely look forward to my coffee every morning and i think i could even give myself decaf and i would still look forward to it as much as i do so i think it's about i'm very lucky i know because i love what i do but also giving yourself something to wake up for and giving yourself a a reward in a sense and also i know that if i work out it's learned behavior right i formed i formed a habit a habit i know that if i work out in the morning like i'll wake up i have half an hour's chill i have a coffee i work out i'm probably ready for the day at 20 past eight by 20 past eight in the morning i've done all the movement i need to do in the day i've woken up before most other people so i've actually got a head start on the day and i still got like 40 minutes before my like working day starts so i've just it can't be a bad day i've already done enough obviously i then have a whole work day ahead of me but for me personally like my my self-worth and for me as a person i've already done so much for myself that i i feel good about the day am i going to sacrifice and put half up i think i'm gonna have to good evening it's an overcast evening i even put on a pretty dress but it's just cloudy but the next question was where am i traveling next so i'm in can right now obviously and then next up i am actually going to norfolk and then potentially make which sounds really exciting. I mean, you'll see it on the vlog, so subscribe to my vlog channel and you won't miss it. But I really, really hope I end up in Mykonos because that would be a dream. And it's finally that time. I was gonna do a fun count today and try and figure out how many different things I've balanced you on, but I have seriously lost count. It is like 11 p.m. But just before we get into the question, summarizing how I found my new camera today. I'm so happy to have this in my life. It's so compact. So even my little evening bags, I can just whip this in. It meant I could show you my dinner. I didn't actually talk to you at my dinner because I was with someone I'd never met before. And you know, it's just like, where's where do you draw the line? But anyway, yeah, I really like it. If you're looking for a new camera purely for vlogging and you want something that you can use on the go, something that is incredibly discreet and something that isn't gonna weigh you down because I tend to find, I just like, I wanna put a lot in my bags. Okay, this is why I have small bags, otherwise I will fill them. This is great just for not overloading yourself and you can still capture everything you wanna capture. So yes, I am a fan. I am a convert because I was so skeptical, but I love it. And this is what I'm gonna be filming the rest of my week on. So yeah, it's uh, I like being proved wrong. And I definitely was in this scenario. Like a bounce on a lamp right now. And I don't even need a tripod, it's really cool. But the final question that I pulled from the Instagram questions is do you still love what you do? And do you think it's gonna change when you enter this next phase of life? And that's quite a deep one to finish on, I guess. And also very relevant because of where I am right now, being in Cannes with YouTube. It's so funny, I didn't know who was gonna be here and then I've met so many people in the industry that I know. The person I met for dinner tonight, I've known for like eight years but never met him in person but worked with him on campaigns and have friends that, you know, one of my ex-boyfriends used to play football with him and it, it's someone I've always known but never physically met and I feel like that's, that's the new chapter for me is just these things that were supposed to happen are happening. I, I I should have met him years ago. I met him tonight. It's like, I've known him for years. It's really nice. And I feel like more of that is coming in terms of like personal life and work. And I don't know what's next for me. I'm excited to make some changes, do some different things. I feel like now the house is gonna be done. I'm going to have so much more 
like mental capacity to do that brain space i'm gonna have so much more time so expect some fun things and let me know similarly in the comments what do you want to see from me what do you want me to do shall we travel do you not want me to travel i won't be traveling i'm never leaving this house but maybe you know maybe we'll get to that point but yeah i just i foresee a lot of change i foresee a lot of new friends because that's definitely the era i'm in i have met so many amazing people that i just really want to hold tight and hold close and we'll see life's a journey it's exciting i really hope you've enjoyed today's video a huge huge thank you to canon for sponsoring they are part of my daily life so it's always really cool for me when i get to kind of share a brand with you that i use every single day if you ever want to know what's in my bag there's always a canon camera in there and now it's going to be this one because it is the most compact and the lightest but thank you so much for watching today's video and i will see you next week in the next one goodbye